Hello. In this session, we are going to solve some numerical based on calculation of resistance and effect of temperature on resistance RTC and some numericals on insulation resistance. So let us see the first numerical. In the first numerical, what is given? Calculate the resistance of 100 meter length of wire having a uniform cross-sectional area of 0.01 millimeter square and having the resistivity of 50 micro ohm centimeter. If wire is drawn out to three times its original length calculate the resistance so there are two parts first we have to calculate the resistance with uh, length of 100 meter 0.01 mm square uh, cross sectional area and 50 micro ohm centimeter uh, resistivity and then in second part we have to calculate the resistance when the wire is drawn to the three times its original length okay so let us see what is the given data in the given data resistivity is given as rho is equal to 50 micro ohm centimeter so it is equal to 50 into 10 raised to minus 8 why it is 10 raised to minus 8 to convert this micro it is 10 raised to minus 6 to convert this centimeter into meter 10 raised to minus 2 so 10 raised to minus 6 into 10 raised to minus 2 it will become 10 raised to minus 8 the length of the conductor is 100 meter the area of the conductor is 0.01 millimeter square to convert the millimeter into meter it requires 10 raised to minus 3 but it is a millimeter square so to convert into meter square we have to we have to make 10 raised to minus 3 square that is 10 raised to minus 6 okay this is a cross sectional area the resistance of the conductor is given by r is equal to rho l by a so substituting the value of rho substituting the value of length of conductor and substituting the value of cross sectional area we will get the resistance as the 5000 ohm okay so what is the next part is given if wire is drawn out to three times of original length then the new length is what suppose previous wire is drawn out to three times of its original length so new length l dash is equal to three times of original length keep in mind so wire, if the wire is drawn into the three times of its length, the volume is not going to be changed. That is, volume of the wire remains the same after drawing. That is, how you calculate the volume? A volume is equal to cross-sectional area into length. That is, A into L. So before drawing a wire into three times of its original length, the cross-section, the volume is A into L. And after drawing this wire, into three times of its original length new area will be a dash and new length will be l dash so what how will calculate the a dash a dash is equal to a into l transfer this l dash on this side so you could l dash so if i substitute the value of l dash as 3l 3l so l l will be get cancelled and a will be divided by 3 so how will calculate the new resistance new resistance r dash is equal to rho l dash divided by a dash that is rho into L dash is equal to 3 AL and A dash is equal to A by 3. So 15 into 10 raised to minus 8, 3 into 100, that is length is multiplied by 3 and area is divided by 3. So you will get the 4500 ohm. So what is the simplest way to calculate it? If the length is increased to 3 times, if same uh, from the same wire, if we increase the length to the 3 times, area will reduce to the 3 times. Means resistance is increased to 9 times. If we 3 is going to in the upper part, so it in indicates that it is 9 times of rho L by that is the original resistance. Okay, so if you multiply this 5000 by 9, you will get the 45000 ohm resistance. Okay, so uh, such types of numericals are also, uh, such types of numericals are also important. Okay. So now let us go for the next example, again which is based on the cable, a single core copper cable, okay, so there is one single core copper, copper cable has a conductor diameter of 2 cm and insulation thickness of 1.8 cm. The resistivity of copper and insulation is 1.73 into 10 raise to minus 8 ohm meter and 8 into 10 raise to 12 ohm meter respectively. Determine the resistance of conductor and insulation of the cable for 100 meter length. Okay, so keep in mind what is the given? The conductor diameter is 2 centimeter and the thickness of insulator is 1.8 centimeter. Resistivity of copper, this is given. 
So keep in mind, resistivity of copper, obviously it is a conducting material, it is very less, it is 10 raised to minus 8 and resistivity of insulation is 10 raised to 12, it is very high, okay. So what is the given data? How will calculate the radius of conductor? So first we will solve for the, we have to determine the resistance of 2, that is resistance of conductor as well as resistance of insulation cable. So for radius of the conductor, how will calculate the radius of the conductor, RC is equal to Diameter is given as 2 cm means radius is equal to 1 cm that is 0 0.01 meter. So area of the conductor is, how will calculate the area? Area of the conductor AC is equal to pi into RC square that is pi into 0 0.01 square. So 0 0.01 square will become 0 0.001 pi. I will keep this pi value as it is because I, I will substitute at the end and this will be area in terms of meter square. The length of the conductor is given as 100 meter. So resistivity of the conductor rho C is given as 1.73 into 10 raise to minus 8 ohm meter. So resistance of conductor will RC is equal to rho C into LC divided by AC. If we substitute all the values that is rho C, LC and AC, we will get the resistance as 5.505 into 10 raise to minus 3 ohm that is 5.505 milli ohm. Okay. So to calculate the insulation resistance of uh, to calculate the insulation resistance, it is necessary to determine the radius of the cable. But the radius of the cable is not given. So how will calculate the radius of the cable? Radius of the cable is obviously what? Rad sum of the radius of conductor plus thickness. So radius of the conductor is 1 cm, diameter is 2, means radius is 1 cm and thickness insulation is 1.8 cm. If we add radius of conductor with the thickness of insulation with thickness of insulation it will give you the radius of cable that is outer diameter outer radius of the cable it is 0 0.028 meter it is 2.8 centimeter means 0 0.028 meter the length of cable is same that is 100 meter resistivity of cable is given as 8 into 10 raised to 12 ohm meter so we know that the formula for resistance of insulation is Ri is equal to rho i divided by 2 pi Li into natural log of Ri that is the radius of insulation divided by radius of conductor. So I will substitute the value of rho i, I will substitute the length as 100 meter, then Ri as the 0 0.028, Rc is the 0 0.01, if I substitute this I get the value 13109 into 10 raise to 6 ohm means 10 raise to 6 means mega. So 13 13,109 uh, mega ohm is the insulation resistance. Thank you.